Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle back again. It's been a long summer. I hope everybody's doing okay. Greetings to all my new subscribers. I picked up about 150 of you over the summer. and I really appreciate your support. The channel's free as always, but uh, uh, thanks for viewing. I really appreciate it. We've now topped 55,000 total views on the Antics and MX videos. And I hope you all found them useful. And I hope to be making some more here in the near future. Um, so... I fired up Skype the other day, and what do you know? No audio. As you, a lot of you might know, Skype um, went to four point, version 4.3. It's now owned by Microsoft. Went to version 4.3, and it only supports... It does not support Alza audio directly anymore. You have to put in... Um, it only supports something called virtual... I'll show you here. Virtual sound devices. Virtual device users. There's nothing else to select. What's that mean? Well, what that means is in MX, the hardware is not virtual. It's not virtualized. So you need Pulse Audio sound server sitting between your sound system and Skype. Now, Pulse Audio will work with other other applications, not a problem. Uh, it's just it's not set up by default in MX. A lot of operating systems have had it for years. Um, Ubuntu's got it. Uh, if you download a live Debian Debian disk, uh, it's it's installed there on the Debian GNOME disks. So it's been around for a while. Can it be problematic? Mm, I guess. I've never had any problem with it. Other people have said that they've had some issues, but I don't live in a production audio environment, so maybe it's a problem in that regard. At any rate, no matter what, the default MX setup no longer works with the latest Skype, and you have to have Skype 4.3 in Linux because they don't support 4.2 anymore. I actually tried earlier today. It wouldn't lock in. So, what do you do? You install Pulse Audio. So I'm going to close Skype here. And we're going to, how do you do that? Well, we're going to go into Synaptic, Package Manager. The good news is the packages are all available by default, or in the default repositories. I've already updated, uh, um, uh, my, my, this system's fully up to date. It's a basic MX 14.2 installation. All I've got some screen capture utilities installed and a few odds and ends, you know, my own stuff. But other than that, it's pretty plain Jane 4.2 PAE version. So what we're going to do, we're going to type in Pulse Audio. There we go. And we're going to select this package here. And we're going to mark for installation. And it's going to pull up a, a dependency it requires. Now I also suggest you pull up some of the recommends. Um, I'm going to install all three. And the other recommends have their own dependencies. I'm going to install all the recommends for Pulse. And also one of the suggested uh, have you control. This is a uh, uh, control app for it for Pulse. Kind of, kind of like a mixer, but not really. It's a volume control app. So we're going to click apply. Now I may lose audio on my microphone when I do this. I do not know, um, but we'll find out. Either case, you guys won't notice because I'll just splice in new audio when it's done. So I'm downloading Pulse Audio. It's going to go through its thing. It, I got a pretty fast internet connection. Don't tell anybody. I'm at work. But uh, so anyway, this thing's going to set up the stuff, and Pulse Audio will be running. The defaults are pretty good. Uh, you'll want to make sure your all the Mixer settings are the way you like them before you install Pulse, because Pulse sits on top of Alza. Okay, so we're done with Synaptic. Okay, so what what do you get? Well, the way you'll see that it's working is we will go into audio, let's see your mixer, and you'll now see an option for playback built-in audio, pulse audio, mixer. This is what you're going to want your default set to. Now there are a couple of um, oddities with the volume icon and pulse audio. And I found it beneficial to to not use the volume icon and to install on the panel a different 
a different audio icon, audio mixer icon. Is it as pretty? Eh, no, not really. But it doesn't have the uh, you don't have the mute problems with this, and I'll show you why here in a second as soon as I move it where I want it. Okay, we're gonna go into properties here, and we're gonna tell it to use the pulse audio channel for the volume control. And there's only one channel on the pulse audio track. That's master. So now when we use mute, if you leave volume icon and either one of these icons, the old one or the new one, it mutes the also channel, but when you unmute, it doesn't unmute the pulse audio channel. <laughs> so you get this weird situation where muting works fine and unmuting does not. If you eliminate the, if you make that change to, to volume icon here, you will get, it, it will be, uh, the conflict is resolved. So what do you get in Skype? In Skype you get um, well hopefully it works. As I did not have I have not rebooted or anything. It is just I just installed Pulse Audio. Didn't lose my microphone, so that's kinda awesome. Okay, I now have sound. You probably didn't hear it, but I got the startup sound uh through the microphone. We're gonna make a test call to the call service. Hello, this is Dolphin Oracle making a test message. Hello, this is Dolphin Oracle making a test message. So there you go. Picked up my microphone, picked up the speakers just fine. Skype's working the way you want it to. Whole operation of installing Pulse Audio takes about, I don't know, five minutes and not even that long. Uh, if we go over to the Pulse Audio Control, we'll just type Pulse, Pulse Audio Volume Control. You see you get some pretty neat um, volumes and you have the neat feature of being able to crank this up over 100% actually. So if you have a low volume situation, this works well. If you're having trouble switching your HDMI audio to HDMI audio, well there's a there's built-in presets for HDMI output. This actually works really well on my MX laptop and my television, setting the audio to here. There's some uh, there's some command line utilities that go along with it. Not necessary with that control app, but uh, I think I think I have a good uh, good idea how to do that. So anyway, that's how you set up Pulse Audio, in particular for use with Skype 4.3. For tips, tricks, how tos, <clears throat> head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post to forum.mythbuscommunity.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.